Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created the login API and we created the user details service in our project. In today's video, we will create the sign up API, web security configuration and a method to create an admin account. So let's get started. To create the sign up API, we need to create the auth service first. So we'll right click here and we will click on new package and inside services, we need to create an auth package. In this auth package, let's create our auth service and this should be an interface and let's create the implementation for this service and we'll name this as auth service impl and this should be a class let's annotate this class as service and let's write implements auth service in this service we need the object for user repository and bcrypt password encoder to encode the password let's import this class now uh, let's write a method here public and this will return user dto and the method name we can write create user and in the param this should accept sign up request before writing the code for this method let's uh, create this sign up request here so we'll choose the java class and we'll name this as sign up request let's annotate this class with the data annotation in this class we need three properties first one is email second one is password and the last one is name now let's create the user dto as well we will annotate this with the data annotation and here we need private long id then private string email After email, we need name. User role. That's it for this user DTO. Now let's go back to our auth service implementation and import these classes. Let's start the implementation of this method and we will create a new user. Let's import this user class. After this, uh, let's start putting the details in the user class. First of all, we will set the email and we can get this from signup request.get email. Let's duplicate this and update this to set name. After the name, we need to set the password. And to set the password, we will encode the password first. So we need to use uh, the bcrypt password encoder and we will use dot encode method. And here we need to give our raw password. After the password, we need to set the role and by this API, we will only create the customers. So let's assign a customer role. And after this, let's call the user repositories dot save method to save our user in the DB. After this, uh, let's create a new user DTO.
and in this user DTO, we will set the ID for the created user. And we will return this user DTO. That's it uh, for this method. Uh, let's uh, copy this and mention in auth service. Now let's go to our auth controller and write the endpoint for this API. So we'll write public and this will return a response entity. And the method name uh, can be sign up user. Let's uh, mention the request body as sign up request. And for the endpoint, let's use at the rate post mapping. And the URL should be sign dash up. After this, uh, let's create the object for our auth service. So for that, we can write private final auth service. Now let's uh, write here an if condition. And uh, in this if condition, we will call a method has user with email of the auth service and we will pass the email from the sign up request and if that is true then we will return an error and to do that we can write here new response entity and in this response entity let's pass a message that user already exists and for the status we can return https dot not acceptable after this, uh, let's create a user DTO here. And let's call auth service dot create user method. And let's pass the sign up request. And at the end, let's uh, return new response entity. And in the body, we can pass the user DTO. And for the status, we can use HTTPS dot OK or created. Now let's go to our auth service and create this has user with email method. This method will be public and this will return a boolean means true or false. And the name of the method is has user with email. And in the params, we should mention the string email and uh, let's return here user repository dot find first by email let's pass here email and then we'll use the is present method this method will check if we already have a user with the same email then it will return true otherwise it will return false now let's copy this and mention in auth service. And as you know, if this method returns true, we are returning an error that user already exists and the users needs to choose another email in this case to create the account. Our uh, signup API is completed. Now let's create some configurations. So to do that, we can create a new package and the package name we can write as config and in this package we need a class with the name of web security configuration let's add some annotations for this class first of all we need at the rate configuration then at the rate enable web security and we need required orgs constructor as well. In this class, we need our JWT request filter. So we can create the object for that. And let's import this class. In this class, uh, let's create a bean that will be public. 
and this will return a security filter chain and the name uh, can be security filter chain in the params we can mention http security and in the body of this method let's return http let's uh, write here dot csrf and let's call the disable method to disable the csrf after this we need to mention the authorize request dot request matches and here we need to mention the endpoints which we don't want to uh, protect and in our case we don't want to protect authenticate sign up and order api to do that we need to write here dot permit all and then let's write the endpoints which we need to authorize so we will write here dot request matches and for the endpoint let's pass here slash api slash static static so if any api contains slash api in the endpoint it will authenticate that api after this uh, let's set the session policy to do that we can use session management dot session creation policy and here we need to give session creation policy dot stateless after this uh, let's add filter before and here we will call our jwt request filter and we will give user name password authentication filter and at the end let's build this one let's add the method signature for this and we are done with this security filter chain and after this uh, security filter chain we need the bean for our password encoder and we need a bean for our authentication manager for the password encoder we will just return a new bcrypt password encoder and for the authentication manager we will get the authentication manager form config and return after this web security configuration we need a class for the cores so we can call our apis from our angular application so let's right click here and create a new class with the name of simple cores filter let's annotate this class as component and let's assign it highest order we need to implement this class with filter now uh, let's paste the code for this class and let's write this app.client url in our properties file this uh, simple course filter class you can copy as it is and uh, in this class we are just allow all the api calls from our front-end application now let's try to run our application by clicking on this run button as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors now uh, let's go to our auth service implementation and let's create a method to create the admin account so this method will be public void and let's name this as create admin account and in this method first of all we need to create a new user and let's name this as admin account and let's call our user repository dot find by role method and let's pass here user role dot admin after this uh, let's check this admin account if this is equal to null then only we will create a new admin account otherwise we will skip this process because we already have an admin account in our db let's create a new user here 
let's uh, set the email for the admin you can give any name here i am writing here admin at the rate test.com after this let's uh, set the name so we will use dot set name and for name i am keeping this as admin after the name let's set the role and we will set user role dot admin after user role let's set the password and to set the password we need to call the bcrypt password encoder dot encode and here we need to pass our raw password and i am passing this as admin at the end let's call our user repository and save this user now let's go to our user repository and create this find by role method. This method will return a user. And in the params, we should get the user role. After this, uh, let's go to our auth service implementation and let's annotate this method as at the rate post construct so it can get automatically called after the constructor now let's run our application again and as you can see in the logs one user got created automatically so that's it for this video in the next video we will create the login api in our angular application